inevitable. And I am. Coach Eddie, and welcome back to Dublin Tabletons. Yes, Tabletons players, Coach Eddie is back with the first video in 2022 in the month of April. April. Four months. Four months into the year and the first video. Goddamn. I'm not making excuses, but my main reason for not uploading for two to, two to four months is because my health was quite bad. I have uploaded saying that I had COVID, then the COVID long lasting symptoms kicked in, and then my then trying to go back and my body broke down again. It was a rundown effect, so it was a brutality at its finest. Like seriously, I like oh my my health opened a Anyway, welcome to the new subscribers. Last time I talked to you, I had less than 4,000, almost hitting the 4,000 mark. Now we're on 6 to 8, so we're almost at 3,000 plus subscribers. So welcome to the all new subscribers who see me for the first time ever uh, with a new video. And to the existing members, thank you so much for your patience. And yes, let's see, let's hope the, word, the, uh, the way it was the worst. So today I'm bringing you, you know, since it's a table that we're bringing you a banger of video, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how to do and how to differentiate difference between an intermediate backhand drive to an advanced backhand drive as well. So initially we're making a backhand topspin. So no longer we're gonna do be gonna be doing a drive. We're gonna focus on how to do the backhand topspin, how to do the competitive shot that you see professional players do, and you can do in matches to win points. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them leave them in comments below. Uh, but yeah, intros have not improved. Let's just get right to it. Now there are three different things that you can adjust and do to make sure you create more spin speed and overall quality. The most important one, and I'm gonna do that as the first one, is actually your wrist your slash your hand starting point, okay? Because the wrist is the spin and the forearm strength is the actual speed in the most simplest terms to explain it. Yes, rotation like in every other shot gives you even more, but with these little two simple tips of the starting point for the wrist and the forearm being in a different position will give you an extra opening where you can adjust with more wrist action to create a spin and have a bigger swing for the extra speed. Let me explain. Your backhand drive in standard position, your beginner level, is over here. Meaning the wrist is one part of the body. So as a right-hander, it's on my right side. If I was a left-hander, it's on my left side. That's okay, that's where it is. But it's very clear that the wrist is on one part of the body, okay? To make an intermediate level shot straight away, you put this wrist and just, I'm, I'm gonna watch the camera and I'll put it right here in the center of my stomach, okay? Which means also without even looking down that my racket, tip of my racket is actually before my left pocket. Boom, see that? That means I'm on an intermediate level. This extra bit of timing, even though you still make the contact in front of you, gives that extra speed and spin if I put a little wrist to it, okay? That is a big, big difference. And that little extra five to 10% difference shift to the opposite side is gonna be huge in the final shot. So yes, the advanced level is that you put your wrist on the left side of your body, completely mirror imaging the beginner stage where you were at your right side. Now, move from all the way around your stomach to the left side. The tip of the racket is gonna be pa way past the left pocket. Yeah, see, way past the left pocket which gives you that even more opening to create spin and speed with your wrist and with your strength of your forearm, which is the two most important aspects of creating heavy topspin with a backhand technique, okay? Beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now, stage number two, or step number two, is your body rotation. And it is in stage number two, let's say it's step number two, because you can't do this without doing the first one, because that is really adjusting the position because you're gonna feel awkward and incorrect, okay? You just move your shoulder a little bit like so, okay? How much? Very easy to show you. Stand in your ready position, put your left arm on your right shoulder, which you're gonna to use to drag it in a position, and to do it, all you have to do is match the elbow with your left foot, like so. That is all you need for rotation to create spin and speed, you know, an extra like, tool to make that shot with more quality and more aggression. Right here, that's all you have to do. It doesn't make a difference if you're intermediate level or advanced, that's basically all you have to do in a semi-pro world or you know, casual league game, is how you have to rotate. This right here is this motion. Oh, don't forget, last tip, 
Like for rotation with the forehand, your core has to be a little tight, okay? So tighten up that belly when you move in and move out. And that will be easier for you to create spin and at the same time actually easier to finish in a proper follow-through motion. Now, stage number three or step number three is your footwork, okay? It's not exactly footwork movement, it's more like footwork motion. Let me show you what happens. So when, you, when you're in your position with your arm and you rotate with your upper body, your left leg is gonna be tilting more straighter while your right leg is tilting more inwards, okay? So it looks something like so, all right? That's a natural motion. Don't worry that you're doing something wrong, okay? You don't wanna do it, overdo it with your left leg. That definitely is too much but it's just a little bit motion where the left leg strains up, where the right leg dips, which creates you that balance, and it's gonna help you to have a good contact and stability with your movement when you finish up like so. See how easy it is to go back in your ready position? One, two, one, two, one, two, okay? You just rotate your torso, you rotate your tushy out a little bit, which helps you to move those legs, or move, move the motion correctly with both your legs. Like so. That's it players, that's at the end of the tutorial, that is the video on the three stages, the three steps that you can use to advance your backhand drive and make a backhand top spin shot that you see in professional matches with your stage one position, with your rotation and bending your knees the correct way to have a smooth and injury free rotation for the long last activity of your Tableton's career. Okay, that's it from me, make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave your comments below and I'll see you next week.